at send us your screenshots that you deposited $10 using our promo code, and one lucky follower will receive an additional $50 cash app, Venmo, or PayPal straight Ooh. from the show that we will award on our live stream Saturday night during the main card of UFC 274. Better fucking tune in. Tune in. Hey, so I wave it all the talking on my name. They don't even know me yet. Jealousy and evil trait. All you bitches showing it. Welcome back, everybody. Running Mouth MMA Show. I'm your host, The Running Mouth, as always, with my co-host. It's our roof. Woo! Yes, sir, T. UFC 274, pay-per-view fight week. You gotta love it. We gotta clap for that. We're back. We're fucking back with the betting spectacular mm. show. Okay? How many did we give him last time? Last we month? We eight. We give him eight. We give him eight picks. Yeah. Which is a <laughs> lot, but... Did we lose any? Nope. Nah. No, we didn't. And, nah. uh... Tonight, we're going to maybe one-up them. What do you think? We have to. Why? Bigger things. Big, we got nine picks for that. That's why. Nine picks. Nine picks. To. Nine fucking picks we got for you tonight, okay? We've been waiting so long for this card, trekking through that mud, yep. that uh, we had to come heavy on this show. Yep. We plan to win all fucking nine. Believe you fucking me. And when we do. Shout out to Mike Bisping. Fucking pulling out the real hammers. <laughs> oh, yo, <laughs> fucking hammer. Let me tell you guys, we go 9-0. and oh, I'm coming out, and I'm going to put my fucking hammer on this table. <laughs> <laughs> right there, <laughs> hammer right on the table when I go when we go nine and zero on this fucking episode. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to hear shit. Nope. But if we go zero oh, nine, I won't say a word. <laughs> <Here we> <laughs> Let's get right into it. I don't want to waste your time or waste mine. Let's fucking go. We got nine picks to go through. I'm I'll gonna let T off. lead the fucking show off. We got Lupita Godinez versus Ariane Car- Carnalosi. Lupita Godinez, very very capable female fighter. She's able to mix it up on the feet. She's been able to do work on the ground. Strong. Plus, I love the activity of her. She's won her. She's won her two of the last three. And the only reason why she lost that one against Luana Carolina was because she had won. And then she fought seven days later. She <laughs> lost, but who the fuck cares? I love Lupita here at minus one seventy. She gets it done and she wins it. We're taking the money line. Hammer him. That's what we're doing right there. Pick number motherfucking one down. Number two, we're going to bring it over here. Uh, Randy. Yeah, Randy. Danny <laughs> Roberts. Randy Roberts. <laughs> Danny Roberts versus Francisco Trinaldo. Trinaldo. Tri- Trinaldo. Sounds ancient. Oh, it is ancient. You read it in the Bible, probably. Oh. Yeah, he has his own stories in there. This man's social security number is four. Four? It's brutal. Wow. Uh, he's fucking old as fuck, okay? I really don't even have any other reasoning, okay? Because they're both... Good submission, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me the guy who's 10 years younger every time. <laughs> Trinaldo's 44, bro. Crazy. Or 43 and chain. He's 44. That's an old-ass motherfucking man. Okay, he was kicking it with Moses. He fought in the Coliseum. That, it's fucking two times rows. That's two of my lifetime. <laughs> so is it, the Gladiator movie with uh, Russell Crowe? Yeah. Demo, I think they were playing Trinaldo. Oh, yeah. They were, they were being Trinaldo. Okay. They were fucking yeah. telling his life story. Yeah. Okay, when he fought back in ancient fucking times. So... Other than that, I really don't have much other reasoning. Again, they're both they're both capable uh, submission guys. But from what I saw in Roberts in his uh, fight against uh, Imadev, yep. big left hand. Ooh. It was like six seconds Ooh. left in the round. Finished him with punches. Yep. You give me that every time. I'll take the guy ten years younger, Plus just as capable power. and knockout power. Give me motherfucking Danny Roberts here, boys, at minus one hundred and five. Hammer him. That's it. Love that. Pick three. Next up, we got Brandon Roy Val going against Matt Schneel. Schneel, Schneel. <laughs> Matt Schneel has been chinny in the past. He's just known for that. He just missed the weight, a couple his last bout or whatever. Hey, guys. I love Roy Val. You know, he does have a couple losses, but he's got a, his last win right over uh, Bontarine. He's got a win over Kai, Kai Car France. France, where we know he's at now. Fuck Kai I know, Car France. I know you love Kai Car yeah. France. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Brandon Roy Val, another guy who's able to mix it up on the feet, is able to do work on the ground. He's just super scrappy. Shocking high knockout energy. power. He's got knockout pl- power at flyweight, which I love to see. I see him getting it done here. We're taking the money line. Brennan Roy Val, minus 240. Hammer him. He should get it done. He that should. should be an easy one. Throw that in parlays, boys. That should be a real fucking easy one. Uh, pick number, f- was it four? Four. Four. Got Randy Rude Boy Brown going up against Chaos Williams. It's going to be a good fight. Is it going to be a good fight? I don't think it will be. I think it's one-sided. I think Chaos Williams comes out and dusts this fool. Sends him to what you like to call the nether realm. Okay? Maybe a spinning back kick. 
Hell, just maybe a fucking right cross and bury this fool. I know Randy has great ground game and he could possibly sub chaos, but I don't see it happening. Okay, so rude boy is gonna get a rude awakening. Take chaos fucking Williams here by knockout TKO or DQ at plus one seventy five. Hammer him. It's a good pick. Anytime you have somebody with that one punch knockout power, at that number, I'm taking it every time. Got to. I William Knight. Hey, I fucked up. William Knight fucking blew it for us, but you know what? Don't care. We don't can't have that in my head. You know, making judgments for me moving forward. I will not. No. Chaos Williams. So you didn't say that was going to be a good fight. You think he's just going to dust him? Well, I'll give you guys a good fight. The people's main event. Donald Cerrone versus Joe Lozon. <laughs> this is what we're looking forward to. This is what the people want to see. Joe Lozon coming out of retirement. We got Cowboy Cerrone on a two-fight losing skid. But I'm taking the Cowboy here. I see him. I see a different different Cowboy here. I see him more, more hungry. The past couple fights, you know, he kind of seemed down. He said he didn't want to be in that McGregor fight. Lozon, you got to ask, like, why are you coming out of retirement? Oof. He's just fighting the Cowboy. He thinks he's going to get a little easy ride. Well, Cowboy's known for riding. <laughs> Not that type of ride. <laughs> but <laughs> the fucking cowboy gets it done here. You already know. I'm taking him here at minus 180. Whew. You know what to do. Hammer him. Wow. Hopefully, uh... People's main event. Don't hammer the, the fucking horse, cowboy. <laughs> 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 Whatever you do, don't hammer the horse. Uh, all right, pick number six. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. That's fucking... We're moving along. Nope. Uh, we got Tony Ferguson, man. The fan favorite going up against... Iron Mike Chandler. Uh, I obviously, I, li I like Tony. Who doesn't like Tony? Okay? Yeah, so. It's Cinco de Mayo. You got to root for Tony. You know what I mean? You can root for him all you want. I'm going with the All-American. Yeah. The guy with the Dana White privilege. Okay? Michael Chandler invites me somewhere every time you hear from him. Mike, where you want to go? See you at the top. See? Mike, I'll fucking be there with you. Okay? Michael Chandler here buries Tony Ferguson. Big time. Tony said yesterday, I want to play baseball. I want to go what? box. What? Guess what, Tone? You got your fucking wish. Michael Chandler's going to blast you into the fucking MLB. Take Michael Chandler minus 110 by knockout, TKO, or DQ. Mike, one more time. Where do you want me to see you? See you at the top. You got it. Hammer him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mike Chandler, another guy who possesses some serious power. Tony Ferguson, the chin's got to go eventually. So, what are we at now? Seven? Or is this Pick eight? number seven. Pick number seven. I'm going with Andre Fialio going against Cameron Van Camp. Making his debut against Andre Fialio. I don't want to see this. You know, you don't want you don't want you don't want to make your debut against Terrible Andre debut. here. You are, you guys already know I gotta drop the bomb that he does train out of Sanford MMA. MMA. You guys know I love Sanford <laughs> MMA guys. Vincente Luque, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. He's got good training partners. He just can't, he's just coming off a nasty. Van Camp doesn't have a camp. <laughs> no. But um, like I said, Andre Fialio here, knockout power. He just came off a win against Miguel Baeza. Super active, which I love to see. So he's ready to go. He's hungry. I, I got to be honest. Van Camp's going to be getting sent back to summer camp. Here. <laughs> Andre Fialio, I'm taking him by knockout. He gets it done here. That's it. Hammer Fifth grade summer camp, by the yeah. way. Like, he's going to put him to a whole other world. <laughs> Bad sad. debut for the Van Campster. That's true. Okay, uh, pick number eight here before we get to the... You know, famed mortgage pick. Yes, sir. Pick number eight. Uh, Carlos Esparza. The cookie monster. Versus Rose Namajunas, the motherfucking thug. Okay? The bald-headed beauty. Okay? Pat Berry's sugar mama. Okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something about this woman. This Rose ain't this Rose. Big difference. Eight years is a long fucking time ago, guys. All right? And let me just tell you something. Her improvement on the ground has been incredible, okay? We saw her there with Wei Li for a full fucking round. No problems whatsoever, okay? And if you go back to the first fight, she held her own pretty well for not being capable on the ground. And Carla was a favorite. She oh, was yeah. the top seed oh, in that tournament. Yeah. So that she's a chalk player. She Chalk won that tournament, okay? But Carla's never fought five rounds in her whole career, guys. Only signed up once for it. Joanna took that belt from her in the second round. She's never seen championship rounds. Rose has now. Rose avenges her all her losses. 
except for this one. But tonight, or not tonight, tomorrow night, it'll be and motherfucking still, okay? Hey, Carla, the wrestling's cute. Give me the thug. Minus 205, Rose Nami Yunus, you know what to do with it. Hammer him. That's it. Love that picture. <clears throat> That's it. Love it. Okay? And now, for our finale, as always, we like to give you what we call our... The Bet Your Mortgage Pick of the Week. That's right, folks. Cashing in 6-2 and two on that play for the year so far for us. And uh, we're going to go with the main event here. Charlie Oliveira versus Justin the Highlight Gaethje. Okay. I'm the highlight for a reason. There's a big reason why I call him the highlight. The guy doesn't have an unexciting fight. The guy never makes the other man wobble. He even clipped Khabib twice. He did. Okay. Plus those leg kicks, heavy. Okay. And Khabib knew they were knew they were there. Mm-hmm. Other than that, this I've never seen this man dominated. Okay. Him and Poirier just exchange and exchange. Yeah. Okay. Him, him and Eddie Alvarez. Did he have Whitman at the fight. time? He didn't even have Whitman at the time. Uh, yeah. No. No. Uh, not the whole time, no. This is, this is a reinvented... Trevor Justin Whitman's Gaethje. Justin Gaethje ain't that Gaethje. Different Okay, group. but every fight Gaethje's in, it's fucking interesting. Somebody gets clipped, mm-hmm. and somebody usually goes goes night-night, Probably okay? Happen, yeah. uh, okay, so what I'm going to say is, hey, Charles, we seen you in the porno flick. We did. Teaching the jujits to the ladies. You were surrounded by the women in the porno flick. Well, this one's going to be a horror film starring you and Justin Gaethje. When you wake up, you'll be surrounded by doctors. Give me Justin the Highlight Gaethje at plus 200. Plus two fucking hundred. KO, TKO, DQ. You know what we're doing with that one. Hammer him. It's too big not to fucking grab. It's that. Oh, it's low hanging fruit. It's scary, but I'm taking it. Um, so there's our picks for the show, guys. There's the official picks, and so now uh, we're actually gonna have the Hammerum challenge. All right, folks. You know what time it is. I laid a challenge out there on TikTok for everybody, uh, and we had a lot of hammers in the comments, T. There's a lot of hammers in the comments. Um, so, without further ado, let's bring on our first guest uh, of the show and in this little segment's history, which I think will continue. Um, we decided to not bring on a hater. Not, 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 not this week. Not, not this week. week. We'll get you guys later. And you're probably all crazy as fuck anyway. So, we decided to bring on uh, a guy that supported us from the start. We also like his content. You should follow him on TikTok. He is at the parlay. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Okay? He's got picks for you every night. He does, I think he does baseball, basketball, hockey, football, I imagine, when the seasons are going. And uh, he's also gotten into the MMA world. So, again, without further ado, his uh, here's the parlay. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. No problem, brother. Right. Good to have you. Good to have you. Um, yes, sir. Remember, we're going four unit, four one unit plays. Mm-hmm. Um, his against us, he wins. He gets a fifty dollar cash app. He's already said to the people out there that he is going to give that to another follower or whoever, and they can give it to charity. I like that. So another round of applause for that. Another round of applause for the charity. What a good guy! Why would we bring on a hater when you can bring on a fucking good guy like this? Um, so let's get right into it. Time for the hammer and challenge. We're gonna uh, we're the home team. We'll let Big Nolan go first. Pick number one. Who you got? All right, pick number one. I'm going to kick it off and make it fun. First fight of the night on the early prelims. Uh, Jerry Newsom taking on Fernie Garcia. Uh, Jerry Newsom's on two-fight losing streak. He can wrestle and grapple a little bit. However, I got to go with Garcia. He's taller, lengthier, hard to finish. And if he can keep this on the feet, I think he gets to spin. Fernie Garcia, hammer. woo Look at that. Hammer him. The guy delivered. Fool. Man, he is writing like <laughs> John fight. Anik, huh? First fight of the night. First fight of the night. Well, look, first, first, uh, that, that's ballsy. That's ballsy. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you take that first bet in the night and you, lo- oh, you lose that first oh, one, ooh, you're chasing. There. I've been there. <laughs> ooh, you're chasing yeah. like Wiley Coyote, boy. You are chasing. All right, we'll pick number two in the Hammer and Challenge. Bring it over to T. I'm going with Chaos Williams getting the win over Randy Brown. Randy Brown just fought Alex Oliveira. He did look good, but it just takes one shot with Chaos Williams. Oh. 
You see, you saw the fight with Matt Semmelsberger. He won that. He's got wins over Miguel Baeza. True, that's a power Like I boy. said, that one shot, when you have that one knockout power. That's I all I need. Plus 175, Woo-hoo. you know what to do. Hammer him. There it is, Chaos Williams pick one for uh, Team Running Mouth. And uh, Parlay, you're up next, brother. Pick two. All right, my second pick. Since you're going to take Chaos, I'll make it even more fun. I'm going to take Randy Brown, money line. Oh, line the rude boy. Line. And here's why. Here's why. He did submit Cowboy Oliveira. Um, he submitted Alves, and he's got a couple TKO wins, too. I think if he can somehow get this thing to the ground, Chaos is going to be lost with him. I think, I think uh, he could get a submission win over Chaos. And since you guys are picking chaos, you know I got a hammer, Randy Brown. Go ahead. Good okay. oh, man, hammer him. I fucks with that man. I, I like that. Yeah. Extra bless guy's good. Yeah. This guy, listen. That, if that happened, no shocker here. Mm-hmm. I just like the number when I can get almost plus two hundred on a not on, on a uh, guy who's got instant knockout power. I know this backfired on me with a uh, William Knight a few weeks ago. That fat balloon piece of shit got no cardio. I, um, I know that I fucked us up, but I, I could see Randy Brown totally doing that. Yeah, wouldn't be shocked there. So maybe fade us, take the parlay. Oh. Use it in a parlay. I don't know. Pick number two for Team Running Mouth. I'm going with Danny Roberts. Minus 105. Uh, actually, I, sh- I think I did this in backwards order, but I don't care. Danny Roberts, minus 105. I have nothing else to say other than Trinaldo was around when they invented dirt. Yeah. Trinaldo fought at the Coliseum. Okay? Trinaldo's old, man, if you're not getting the picture yet. Okay? So, fuck that. And, and also, Roberts had a... Amazing knockout. I don't know if it was two fights ago or last fight. Late in the third, too. Uh, so we like Danny Roberts here. Minus 105. Hammer him. Hammer him. That's it. Back to the parlay for pick number three. I like that Danny Roberts pick. I was actually thinking about Francisco Trinaldo. Just because Trinaldo's had success with guys who were a little bit. Why taller, were you reading right? the Bible? Is that why you were thinking about him? Did you read the Bible? Did you see the number four and go? I think that's. Uh, I think that's Trinaldo's social. Uh, great number four. I'm gonna lay off him though this time. My next pick is gonna be Blahoy Ivanov taking on Marcus Rosario de Lima, and mm, I it's think de Lima. It's a good pick. If, if de Lima, I think he's gonna gas out pretty quick if uh, Blahoy can, you know. If he can hold off on those big shots in Delima early, I think he's going to have a good chance the further this fight goes on. So that is my pick. Lahoy, even off minus 145, you know what to do. Hammer him. Wow. That's a good play. Hammer him. I kind of got some beef with Lima, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet on Ben Rothwell the last time, and uh, yeah, yeah, we saw what happened to Ben Rothwell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But our third pick. Third we're, pick. Third pick Three for the running in. mouth team. We are going with. Rose Namajunas <laughs> against Carla Woo! Esparza. Carla Esparza, we know she's coming in looking to wrestle. Mm-hmm. Rose knows she had to prepare for it. She's got the striking down. Key. We we went over the last fight when, mm-hmm. when they had fought previously. That was a different Rose at that time. Totally different. We and know, still managed really well on the ground up until that point that she did get yes. choked out. We know where Rose crazy. is at right now. Her confidence is at an all-time high. She's going to respect Carla, but I know that she's just got the, the takedown defense in the bag. I got to take her here. Minus 205, Rose Nama Yunus wins it here. Give me a thug. Hammer him. Yes. Thug Rose, baby. Thug Rose. I can't. I just can't not better. I was there in the garden the night she shocked the world against uh, Johanna and shit, and I've seen her fight multiple times. We were there when she took... Uh, What's her face there? John Wei Lee, the distance. I had her by decision that night. I don't like to admit that. I don't like decision tickets. I think they're for losers. <laughs> so you're sitting around waiting for a decision, boy. You got a real shitty fucking day going. <laughs> so pick number four, pick number three for us, Rose Nami Yunus. Final pick number four for the parlay in the Hammer and Challenge. Who's it going to be, brother? All right, I'm taking Joe Lazon versus Oh, Cal- no! Oh, man, he, you want to talk about reaching down and grabbing a pair. He's grabbing his balls Joe here, Lozon. folks. Plus 150 underdog. Um, here's, here's the thing. Cowboy, after the Connor fight, even came out and said, you know, I was hyped the whole week. I got to fight night. I didn't even want to make the walk. I didn't want to fight that night. So I don't know where his head's at. If he fight since then, he doesn't look good at all. So I don't know where his head's going to be at. You know, his interviews, it does seem like, he is in a better headspace. However, I'm not going to count on him to show up. 
I'm taking Joe Lazon plus 145. You know what to do. <laughs> That's a good Hammer. one. I don't like to admit it sometimes. Somebody's got bigger balls than me. <laughs> this guy, he's taking a stab and a half. Fourth well, pick. Well, Jesus, I thought I was confident in this play, but I might not be as confident now. Uh, our fourth play against the parlay here in the one-unit challenge is going to be no other than Justin Gaethje. It seems too easy. I know, it's low-hanging fruit. Okay, Charles is absolutely on top of his game right now. But I've watched all those. Like I just told you, I watched every single one of these guys' fights this this last week. I've had nothing to do but watch fights. Okay, and I got to tell you, man, it's scary to watch. If you, I went into every fight pretending I had bet Charles. How would I feel? Nervous. I was scared in every single fight. Nervous. You're scared, and then he's lost a lot prior. To, like that Felder fight, you could get so excited on top of that mountain, going, "Oh, he's dominating." He's like, "There's no way Felder's gonna survive." A couple elbows and he quit. He he quit via he tapped via strikes. Okay, so all I'm saying is, if you're a you're a veteran out there of the sport and you go to Reddit, you've seen the you've seen the Charles Oliveira fake porn surrounded by the ladies. This one's gonna be a horror film. He's gonna wake up with doctors surround him. Justin Gaethje by TKO knockout or DQ plus two hundred. Woo! Hammer him. That's all I got. Pick. That's a good pick. I think I like Gaethje. I think he can. How can he not? I just yeah. have a. I have a fear. It's like I'm a gambler, so Vegas never loses. And I gotta say that that's a scary pick from a standpoint of like, are they giving away two plus two hundred like that? That easy? Mm-hmm. Like I think it's I, not like Oliver is dominating. I can't. It seems like he always gets knocked down and then just eventually finds it. I feel like there's gonna be a time where he gets knocked oh, down. Oh, and, and he's Justin's not, not getting go, not letting him up. No. I don't know, so I just get sometimes I get nervous with that number, but hey, having a little fun. One unit plays. We think we got a shot, and after you grabbing your sack like that, I think you got a shot now. And you know, you got a couple it's of gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be this makes it interesting, you know? We're keeping tabs on it all, all fucking weekend long. So uh, again, we wanna thank the parlay for coming on. Hopefully we just have them on and fuck the haters. We'll just make this a fucking us versus you challenge. You know? I don't even give a fuck. Uh, so we're ha- we were happy to have you on, brother. We appreciate your time and uh, good luck out there. We still hope you lose. We still hope you lose. <laughs> Again, subscribe, like, comment, and I always tell hold you, up, hold, up, hold up, wait, wait. You forgot about the live stream. Oh, I forgot about the live. Oh my stream. god, plug the live stream. Come on, never man. mind, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, plug the I live apologize. Stream. Saturday evening, <laughs> as always, we are doing the running mouth. Uh, MMA show live stream on cool. YouTube. Check in. The links will be sent out on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to do that on TikTok. If not, we'll try. If not, just stop by. You'll see the fucking thumbnail. Click mm-hmm. in. Drop a couple comments. Watch some of the fights uh, with us if you're bored. Talk some shit. Shit, talk about life. Whatever you want to do. We take bong rips and eat chicken wings and shit. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that's, that's really what we do. And We just we just talk shit and have some fun. So yeah. if you want to hop in and watch the fights with us, have a little fun. That's it. Uh, we'd appreciate it. So thanks for saving the day there. Yes. Um, so tune into the live stream, guys, and keep the love and hate coming. We don't care. And hit the merch button. Right, we've got a fight Bye, shirt. Sure.